there, troops. Ryan Kasaragi here with... Well, I guess just with for right now. Because this is technically a new Let's Play, but it's technically going to be three Let's Replays before we get to the new Let's Play. So, uh, without further ado, welcome to Let's Replay Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth. Now, I played this game back a long time ago in my old setup, and, um... I love this series. We played the trilogy, actually, back then. Uh, and it was kind of funny, actually. I wanted to replay these games anyway, and I was going to have to find a way to finagle my system to allow me to do so. And then I heard word that Last Recode, the remaster of these games, was coming out. So I said, well, that was fortuitous, and now here we are. So let's hurry, hurry quickly onward into Volume 1. As always, a new game. And we'll play on normal instead of cheat mode. We don't want that. We want normal. So pretty. It's already so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to see Makanu. Like, I've never played this actually before. Like, the re. Oh my god, the models are so nice. I've, I haven't played the remake yet, so I'm really excited to see how pretty this all looks. Okay, cool. Oh, oh we're going inside. That's right. We need to go inside to the, to the gate. Wow, this is cool. Yeah? Hey! Hey, you! You, the adept rogue! Yeah, you! I'm talking to you! Hello. So, I take it this is your first time playing this game? Yeah. I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Mm -hmm. I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh, you seem trustworthy. All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right, so let's open the menu. All righty. Yeah, Y button didn't help. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. We need to select party. And this is a list of all the people who have a member address. Okay. All righty. Hmm. Edge 
Punisher and a Blade Brain here. Okay. Okay, let's have some fun. I am honored to lend you my sword. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. This, they sound a little generic, don't they? Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? Sounds like a plan. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have any. I don't have many options here. I was thinking I'd be able to uh, open up some graphics or some audio options should these sound settings not be good. But let's go to the stage. And we'll save right here. That's a good place to save it. Right on slot one. Alright. And we'll go to the Chaos Gate. Wow. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. Sorry, there's more tutorial that needs to happen first. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose warp menu. Alright. Easy enough. Also, Haseo moves really quickly. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the Chaos Gate. Alright. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. Alright, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. I have no bookmarks yet. Bookmarks you get throughout the game. Random just gives you a random selection. I know it's really hard to figure that one out. Warp record, you can go back to a place you've been before. Say if you find a map that's real good for a particular type of item you're looking for. Warp record. To town, you can change to a different town server. We don't have access to that yet. And to cancel, it takes you back. Let's go ahead and look in here. This is where you input the words. Cool. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. Yeah, you learn more. You learn more words as the game goes. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Choose courageous from your stock. Well, let's see. We could pick courageous. Courageous, or courageous, or we only have courageous. Now we'll pick engaging. Daydream. And you see the thing, uh, the, you'll see the world, I can't go back anymore to show you, but you saw the, the picture changing and the elements and everything changing. Uh, you can actively see what effect the word's gonna have on the world there on the right. It's pretty cool. Okay, now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? Yep, I, I did notice that little delta. That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. We are currently in delta. What a coincidence. Right now, it's showing triangle for delta. I would be really embarrassed if I was wrong about, about it being delta. Not gonna lie, guys. So, as you can see, we are all in the delta server. Very, very handy for us to all be in the same server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Yep, because every server carries its own uh, effects on the keywords. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. This will become much more important in later games, but it's still valuable to know here. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right, then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. Only level I can actually go to. Let's initiate the warp. God, the, even the loading screen looks so clean. So, we've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. Why does her, like, hips 
Her like her hips are like really arched. This is, this what is the area like. map. Or he'll just explain. This is the map. We can look at it. There's a key on the side. And there's the map that's right there. I'll just shut up. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. I'll just I'll just I'll, I'll just let the Yoten do this for us then. Instead of explaining it myself. Oh, now we have to, okay. We can look at our mission, which is this is our mission. Or I'll just shut up again. Thanks, Yoden. Just let them tutorialize it. Nice and easy. Missions are basically, um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. So the mission is our mission, huh? Never would have guessed. It looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. You can guess which one of these is easier. These are the altar icons. I can tell by the key. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Now, this is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is our final destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way. Let's go. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. Well, let's not be on our way. Okay, this time let's really get going. Cool. Mm. Yes, we can look at the map again if you forget where things are. Also, we have a mini map. God, it's so pretty. I, I, I love how this looks already. This is so good. Alright, but let's go ahead and go after our objective type thing. You also see the dotted line path that lets you know where you came from so you don't get turned around. Nice! We found an altar already. Yep, it's almost like it's a linear area for the tutorial, you know. Okay. Let's see. Now we can surprise attack like what, what, what they told us. We just have to move back here behind, behind the monster and then. Your surprise life attack. belongs to me! Surprise attack. Once the battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. Fight in a little dome, like an O'Connor. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. Now you can't escape from combat. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. No, that sucks, but I think we'll be fine. They're just good. <laughs> Hey, you're not too bad. I can mash the A button successfully. Not so difficult, huh? Yeah! Keep it up! That's it. Just continue fighting like that. I need to grab the kitten very quickly. She is back behind the computer, as she is not allowed to be. Sorry. She should be laying down soon. I know she won't. But yes, we have, we have controls in combat. We can block. Reminding us once again to open the chest. Or to kick it. That's also fine, Haseo. Whatever. Hmm. Alright. I guess we're off to the next one, which is over here. 
All right, we found another altar. Yep, it's right over there. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. Ah, cool. I, I have skills too, apparently. Okay. Perform a surprise attack. We got him. The regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Here is the skill trigger menu. This is the quick skill menu. We'll look more into this later. Do you see the four panels? I also say Gale Blade. That's your only skill. You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Or just the same. Now try it out by using the arts. Gale Blade. Gale Blade! <laughs> Alright. Perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. You can combo with your shortcut ability. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO-10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Oh, we're already running Rengeki. I forgot they had it this early. But yes, Rengeki is basically your super attack. Up until they get um, the aura that this is explaining, and you can super attack with Ren Gecky. Deal massive damage. There we go. Then, Ren Gecky! Must move, the, must move the kitten, she's deciding to go under the box that I have covering up the power button. <clears throat> ah, sorry, she is hell-bent on destroying my Let's Play channel and my computer. Anyway, yes, uh, we saw Rengeki. Uh, Rengeki skills cost no SP, so we can do them for free. And it is a favorite action which There you go. Eventually. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. It's all up to you now. Cool. So get you uh, get you some get you some extra EXP, which is neat. Cool. The second symbol fragment. I bet the third one is up right up here. Ah, oh, wouldn't you know it? It's right here. All right. Let's go ahead and. Slow. <laughs> That I used, so that's it. Used, used what I learned. We also leveled up. Let's take a look at our level up. We're slightly stronger now as a level two character, but uh, they're from Kest uh, he's from Ke oh they're both from Kestrel. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll, uh, level six weapon mastery. We have level one. We're crap, but we're also level two. So I mean I get it. To shine. And they've joined together. To the judge's symbol. Now the judge's symbol opens the beast temple. In that group. Yeah! Awesome job! Alright, let's finish off by heading for the beast temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position just like we taught you. Sorry if you heard that clatter, that's me once again moving the kitten out from underneath the computer. Maybe one day she'll realize that she's not welcome under there. But until then, she will continue to try to turn off my computer while I do Let's Plays. 
and break all of my things. But let's go ahead. Let's, let's go to the. Let's, but let's go ahead to the Beast Temple because there's treasure inside. But we'll go do that next time. So you guys had fun, and I will see you next time with more. Let's, I guess, technically replay Dot Hack GU Volume One Rebirth on Dot Hack GU uh, Last Recode. So till then, till then, Rink K. Out. Love this game. So why are you looking at my ass, Astra? Please stop. Please stop.